good morning bikini bottom. I'm already up and ready today because I agreed previously with a friend we we're gonna meet up and get lunch. If you remember Caitlin from American Airlines, we've stayed friends over the semester and I wanna get lunch with her because I miss her and I got her little present so I wanna give her her little gift. We're gonna go get lunch and then she wants to meet our new kittens. So that's the agenda for today. I tried two new makeup products today. The other day I got Urban Decay's All Nighter foundation which is like a full coverage and I'm loving it. It's a lot thinner than the Kat Von D one was that I used and you need a lot less of it to cover the same amount so I don't know why I didn't switch to this sooner. It's really really awesome. And then I also tried Tarte's Lights Lashes, Lights Camera Lashes. I just got this for Christmas and I don't know. Y'all tell me how does it look? Is it better or worse than my normal routine of benefits that are real? I think it's a little clumpier but it gives a better curve so there's pluses and minuses. Not a new fave I don't think but I'm gonna keep using it for a while. I know it's midday, we're just starting off the vlog, but I'm gonna go get lunch with Caitlin. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be her saying she's here. After that, we're gonna go, I'm probably gonna hang out with kittens all day, let's be real. The return of K-Pet. <laughs> I missed you. No, I just pulled out the camera and I was like. <laughs> I didn't know you turned it on yet. <laughs> we're at, oh, they left the menu, I'll show you. We're at Coffee Tree. I'm gonna have a panini and have a good day. I'm Ooh, also I, having a panini. I have news for you that the vlog is gonna learn for the first time. One of the kittens passed away last night. Yes. Which one? Like the weak baby one. I mean, they're all babies, but there was one that was like really struggling and the mom wouldn't give attention to, so. Was it the black one? The black and white one, yeah. There's two other black ones. <laughs> this is, I think it, wait. I have something in my lip. You didn't tell me, that's so embarrassing. I didn't see it. I just want all of um, Witty Novel's followers to know that she promised me Costco cake and I drove all the way out here and there is no Costco cake. None. So that's my life right now. So if anyone wants to send me a Costco cake, please feel free. <laughs> Thanks. How do you feel about not leaving me any Costco cake? Why was there no Costco cake left for me? Just- It was my family. I'm not trying to blame it on them, but I am. Cause I, I woke up one day and I went downstairs and there was a whole cake on the counter and there's only one slice left. So it wasn't me. So Caitlin agreed that she's gonna take me to Flower Mound to go get my library card. So I'm lit. I'm getting a library card, I'm so excited. We're going to the library. <laughs> This has turned into a library vlog and I'm living. If I can't immediately check something out, I'm gonna revolt. There's actually one book that I do need to find from the library because I'm listening to it on audiobook, but I want to have a physical copy so I can see where my progress is. What's the book? It's called... <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was called. It was called... <laughs> it's the same way. It's coming up. <laughs> It's called Hunting Prince Dracula. Hey. Oh, I should probably map this. Yeah. Okay, I can map it. You can do it? Okay, it's just the Flower Mountain Public Library. I'll just do everything, God. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and have you <laughs> be my chauffeur and call you Chives. <laughs> Chives? <laughs> like an onion. <laughs> have you seen that episode of Drake and Josh where he's like, come on, Chives? I thought it was Jeeves. Oh. <laughs> On our way, people. I'm still crying that my butler's name is like Green Onion. <laughs> Chives. Okay, bye. We are here. I don't know where the front door is. <laughs> it looks like an old firehouse. <laughs> yeah, there's the entrance. Oh, she's taking it's a vlog so too. Oh, are they doing some Instagram? Oh, reserved for. Okay, we are library customers. We are. We're going to be library customers right now. Yes. Let's go, gals. I got my card. Wow. I got blurry. There we go. This is the thumbnail. So I found the YA section. What am I looking for? What's her last name? They have Jenny Nelson. This is the best book of all time. What am I doing? I haven't been in a library in like three years. The hills are alive. Oh my gosh, they have so many. I'm so happy. It's it's a library. Why wouldn't it have books? Bookish. <laughs> Smells like paper. Okay, I'm looking for, what's her last name? Maniscalco, M. I think, yep, here's Elle's. <gasps> my baby! Someone has book one checked out, and book four. It's my favorite series. <laughs> like Did you know? know? <laughs> they didn't have the book I came here for because they're homophobic, I don't know. <laughs> 
So instead, I think I'm gonna get the second book of Poison Study, which I read the other week. I don't know what the second one is though, so I have to look it up. What is it about? It's about this girl. <laughs> she basically was in a prison to be executed, but then the day of her execution, she's pulled out and this guy is like, hey, instead of being executed, do you want to be the new poison taster for the king because his other guy just died? And so she does that instead of being executed. And then there's a political scandal and it's really fun. Do they fall in love? Have to read him, but no. Which means yes. Ooh. Not like the king, but like the guy who trains yeah, her. I'll have to. It. I'm looking for the series. It sounds kind of like um. Throwing a glass. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but they like decide if the parents don't want the kids, they can like send unwound, unwind. Unwind, yeah. Unwind. I did a book report on that one. <laughs> you think I know all about unwind? If you'd like a copy, ask Whitney. Because <laughs> I'm at the library, I can steal one. Okay, the second one is called Magic Study. Do they have that one? Yes. Watch them not have it. <gasps> Here it is. It's green. I like that color. Ooh, it is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna check it out because Caitlin said I'm not allowed to leave without a book, even though they didn't have the one that I wanted. You're welcome, followers. <laughs> Content. Self check out because we don't want to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the public to know that this library has a fish tank. Look at how cool this is. OMG, and it has a Christmas tree. Look at that. Wow. It's so festive. Aesthetic. Oh, wait. Can you see me? I'm stepping on something. <gasps> there we are. <laughs> Look at libraries. Good for the environment. Nature. Let's go on a nature walk. Go on a nature walk in this. <laughs> no, nature. Like, nature. neat nature, you know? That's how I feel when I go to the library. OMG, a friend. Want me to read you some adult fantasy? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Chapter one. We're here, Iris said. <laughs> library we're here we're here at the library wow the flower mound address. public There's library book up there. oh cute these leaves are little hearts should i take one from my journal or is that like taking a flower from a national park i think you could take it it's like a wish make a wish when you pull it off wish for more free flights help <laughs> wish for a job <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants my LinkedIn profile, <laughs> message Whitney. <laughs> Where to next? Are we going to Joe's house? No, we're going to Sonic. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this break. Oh. oh, I'm gonna get a Diet Coke. Should I give the people a He's history lesson? Parkour. Do you see that? <laughs> parkour. <laughs> that was like perfectly timed. <laughs> Hi, Mama Kirby. Where's the babies? <laughs> get those babies. Black and white one passed away overnight. <laughs> hey, mama, you're doing so good with those babies. <laughs> it's a camera, I'm sorry. I'm not taking your babies, I know. It's a good kitty. It's a good kitty. So I think the lightest one is named Aspen. That's the only name we have. That one's like getting crushed. <laughs> like they're using it as a step stool. <laughs> Yeah, so the one on the far right was the firstborn. The secondborn is the one that died. The third was the lighter orange one. The fourth was the all black one. And then the fifth was the tabby black one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, mama. See, I'm done. They're such wiggly little babies. One day old. They're not even 24 hours at this point. It's a baby. <laughs> Hi, little one. Hey, Mama, who's your baby? Who's <laughs> a good Mama? Thank you for letting me pat him. Oh, <laughs> she sits on them. I get so stressed. The black one is the only one that's actually latched on. The others are like, who am I? They look like little bunnies. They're so cute. I don't know which one I want. Okay, let's go see Mama. You can have some snacks? Do some snack. She's like, you got that Sonic? <laughs> it's okay. They're okay. 
Yeah, it's true. She's been in there for like the whole day. <laughs> Look, Mom! Where's your babies? Get your babies. Hi, bud. Are you taking a nap? Oh, my goodness. Say these feeties are tired. Why does he have duct tape on his hooves? He has a hoof infection, so we have to keep it dry. Hey. We got the other horse. Hi, Kalina. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, she's letting you pet her? She hates me. <laughs> You've been blessed. <laughs> I'm so entertained by the fact that you're on the ground. Like, I can touch your back by reaching down. <laughs> I would. And Caitlin got the Mustang to like her. She's like, you got a kick? <laughs> She's like, hey, let me get a sip now. <laughs> oh, we getting up? Oh, same. <laughs> Good boy. See, my feet are so tired. I've been standing on them for 30 years. Yeah, good boy. But donka donks And my horse. What? You can't have a sip. You can't have a sip. <laughs> You're so nosy. I'm nervous. Why? I don't know. There's not Tissue the paper. <laughs> I knew you loved it. <laughs> oh, I love these. <laughs> You got shark socks. Where did you find them? Literally, I was going on Amazon looking for socks, and those were one of the first results, and I was like, so I'm ordering these for Caitlin. <laughs> I literally was just looking for shark socks. Are you serious? Yes, at Target. <laughs> oh, thanks. Here's my face three hours after application. Do I still look cute? Does this makeup work? Is the mascara good? Alrighty, mini haul, then I have to go feed the horses because my mom's out shopping. <laughs> so, Caitlin got me a present. I didn't realize that we were doing a gift exchange. I thought I'd just gotten her her little pair of socks and that was it. She got me this cute feminist patch that I guess I'm gonna have to put on my denim jacket, start bedazzling it. But she also got me some note cards that are bad girls throughout history. So it has Dolly Parton and other people that I don't recognize. <laughs> it's got Maya Angelou and Jane Austen, Queen Elizabeth. Love that. Like, I love note cards and that's so cute she just knows me but also I got home and I had a package I was eager and I opened it already but I haven't taken it out and I haven't looked at it so let's do that together so the note for this says I know you're my horse queen but will you be my pop princess love the other yeehaw of booktube and then in parentheses the cute one which is from Olivia. <laughs> Olivia's channel is Olivia Reads a Latte. And actually the way that we got to know each other is bananas. So I found her through, I think, Twitter. I don't quite remember. I think she was just interacting with someone I knew and I was like, ah, oh, who's that? And then I saw she had a channel and I was like, ah, oh, who's that? Watched one of her videos, thought she was hilarious, followed her back, interacted with her, and then realized she lives in my area in North Texas. And then as soon as I was talking to her about that, she was like, yeah, one time you literally bumped into me at a book signing. And I was like, that's so weird that I found someone whose content I love and then I just find out that we've met. But anyway, that was my tangent. Go subscribe to Olivia. She got me the book, Good Morning, Good Night, by Lynn Manuel Miranda and Jomney Sun. I keep calling him Jomney Sun because of his other graphic novels. His name is Johnny Sun. I listened to this book on audiobook a couple of weeks ago, or maybe even days ago at this point. Lynn Manuel Miranda narrates it and it's on script, so I listened to it in like 45 minutes. But I haven't seen a physical copy of it to look at all the illustrations so I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh it's so cute. I waited to give this a rating until I was able to see it in person because I know that Johnny's an illustrator so I wanted to see what his illustrations for this are like. Oh, oh there are little drawings for every single one. Okay I can't flip through a book with one hand because I'm challenged, but I'm gonna have to read through this whole thing because look how precious. Reading this on audio does not do it justice, so I'm gonna have to do a whole other read through. I'm probably gonna give this five stars because I forgot how much I love Johnny's art. So that's the haul for today. Time for me to go feed ponies because it's getting dark outside. But I've just been farting around on my library's <laughs> website and I keep making purchase suggestions. <laughs> 
because they don't have a couple books that I got a library card to read. So, PSA, if you get a library card and they still don't have what you want, you can harass them. Just kidding, don't harass them, but like, give them a suggestion, let them know. Time for me to button my pants <laughs> and go get harassed by some horses because they're so hungry. Okay, bye. Texas sunset with ponies. Seeing this just makes me want to yodel. <laughs> Hi, Miss Goat. Hi, Bo. Hi, beautiful. Hi, sweetheart. What are you doing? Yeah? Is it for real estate? <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> so I didn't finish this vlog because tonight I did nothing and then I fell asleep at 10 p.m. So basically <laughs> I came up to my room and I started watching Netflix which is a rare sentence to escape my mouth because y'all know I don't really watch TV shows. I'm not trying to be like oh, I'm such a hippie I don't watch TV but I really don't enjoy watching TV that much. I realized I only had two episodes left of Big Mouth so I finished those two episodes Here's my review of Big Mouth season two. It's all right. <laughs> Took me like three months to watch because I can't watch TV shows, but I love how funny it is. It's a lot of weirdness sometimes, but it's real and relatable. I don't know. I wish I would have seen it as a kid, even though it probably would have freaked me out. <laughs> and then after that, I was like, you know what? I'll start a new TV show because, you know, Lord knows I'll probably finish that one in six more months. But I started The Good Place, which is also on Netflix, and it's with Kristen Bell, and it's about she goes to the afterlife that's for, like, really good people. So it's called The Good Place. But they mistook her identity, and so she's actually there when she's not supposed to be because she was actually pretty horrible when she was still living. So it's all about her and the afterlife of people thinking she was this charitable, amazing person when in reality she wasn't, so she's trying to be good and trying to be more ethical so that she fits in there. And it's really funny so far. Like I said, I really don't watch TV shows and I think I'm on like episode four or five. They're only like 25 minute episodes. So that's a lot of fun. And I know I usually don't do like TV show updates, but I feel like that one was necessary. Also, side PSA, if you have not seen Haunting of Hill House, what are you doing? I want to rewatch it so bad. Caitlin's already rewatched it and noticed so much more stuff and I'm just like... So yeah, that's my update for the night. I have been eating this whole thing of Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter cups. My mom has my SD card because she's making my graduation photo stuff. <laughs> oh, I listened to some of my audiobook. I told you previously I was listening to Hunting Prince Dracula, which is the second book in the Carrie Moss Galco series. I don't know how far I am because it's on Scribd and it's an audiobook. What chapter am I on at least? I'm on chapter 8 out of 46, so probably not that far in. Maybe like less than 10%, but so far so good. But I am gonna end this vlog for today, which it's 2 a.m., so technically it's for tomorrow. <laughs> I start PetSmart on Sunday, so tomorrow for me, but two days for the vlog. And I'm nervous about the length of those vlogs because I know they might be a lot more abbreviated because I'm spending eight hours cleaning up dog poop, but I'll only have like two days of content there, so I don't know why I'm complaining anyway. Y'all are always so supportive and you like the vlogs no matter what. So that is everything. Good night. <laughs>